Hey guys, it's Dennis here with Team Deberu, and today we're gonna have a look to how to place your postback URL to zero park traffic source. So let's have a look. Hello to everyone, and like I mentioned before, uh, today we're gonna have a look to how to connect zero park traffic source with your tracker. So uh, we're going to go to volume tracker and integrate and connect zero park and volume that can communicate between each other. And then later on, I'm going to show you how you're going to connect other tracking softwares. Uh, particularly, I'm going to show for RedTrack. But if your tracker is not volume or RedTrack, it doesn't matter because the steps are very similar. So here we are inside the Zero Park dashboard. This is a brand new account. So we haven't done anything here. So first we're gonna go to volume and connect uh, volume to Zero Park with the integration that volume has. So let's jump to volume first and let's do that straight away. So here we are inside the volume uh, on the traffic sources element, but we're not gonna use uh, this part to create uh, a new traffic source uh, like we do with other traffic sources like Facebook or Propeller Ads, 8Maven or Mega Push. So with all these uh, traffic sources, we always go here and we create a new traffic source element, and that's how we connect traffic source with the volume tracker. But with zero park and volume, we use a different way with integrations. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to settings here on the right corner, click settings, and then we're going to click on the integrations up here. And here we have traffic source integrations beta. So we're going to click on add integration. And here we have one, two, three, four, five traffic sources we can integrate. So for today's video, we're going to do zero park. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on add integrations. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually click on add integration. So you're going to click here and you're going to be redirected to zero park signing up page, which is this one here. So what we're going to do, so you're going to actually need to create your account. So to be able to uh, integrate zero park with volume, you need the account on both ones, right? So I'm gonna press login and here we are and we are successfully created. Zero park account has been successfully integrated. So it is that simple. So two clicks and you are done. So this is how you're gonna connect zero park traffic source with volume tracker. And now we're going to have a look to how to actually connect other different uh, traffic softwares uh, with uh, zero park by using post back URL from zero park. So let's go to zero park, which is up here. And to be able to actually see the post back URL, you need to create a new campaign. And within that campaign, you're going to get the post back URL which you're going to copy and then paste within your tracking software. So we're going to go through that uh, just in a couple of seconds. But let's go and let's create a new campaign. And then you're going to go push. And we always start with run of network. So we're going to click here. And we're not going to do this part today, but you're going to scroll down. So you're going to finish all these settings here. And here you're going to paste your uh, destination URL. And here below where it says tracking, actually conversion tracking, you're going to click show. And here it is your post back URL. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to copy like that. And then you're going to need to go to your tracking software where you're going to paste this post back URL. So let's jump to Zero Park Guidelines to show you uh, what I mean. And then later on, we're gonna jump to a red track uh, that I can show you. They are exactly the same steps for any tracker. So let's jump to zero park guidelines from you can see here that 
we are inside the campaign and like I showed you before, the, on the conversion tracking, you're going to click show and it's going to pop up your postback URL. So where it says that you need to copy this postback URL and paste that within your tracking platform. Let's have a look. So paste the copied postback URL to your traffic source setup in your tracking platform. So usually the appropriate section is called traffic source postback URL or reporting conversions to traffic source. So if we go to have a look traffic sources, even volume has the same names. Like you can see up here, see traffic sources. And then the last step you need to do, you need to append the tracking platform token that it used to store zero parks click ID value at the end of the traffic source postback URL, which is this one here. So typically it is called something like external ID. To show you an example with other tracking software, uh, we're gonna go to uh, red track, which is up here. So red track and zero park. So how to integrate zero park within your red track uh, traffic, traffic software. So you're gonna go up to here, which are saying and showing exactly the same steps. So what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to actually create a new campaign and then on the conversion tracking, click show, copy the postback URL. So it is saying copy the postback URL generated by zero park. And then you need to go put it to your campaign postback field. So which is up here. So you're going to paste it here. And then the last step you need to do, make sure to add this ref ID parameter to the end of this URL right up here. So that means that for uh, red track, the parameter is this one. And this is how you connect zero park traffic source by using the post back URL from zero park to connect your tracking software. And the steps are very similar if you have a different traffic software from which the difference can be just in parameters, right? Because the, the postback URL, it's going to be always the same. So you're going to copy here, paste it within your campaign. So within your tracking platform, and then you're going to need to add uh, in the end, the parameter for that particular uh, tracking platform. So let's go back to zero park here. So now you know how to actually connect uh, zero park with your uh, tracking software using the postback URL from zero park to connect to your tracking. But if you're using a volume tracker, you actually do that by integrations, which we went uh, through all the steps just before. So we actually integrate the traffic source zero park by integrations. So we don't need to go by uh, traffic source elements, right? So now you should know how to connect a zero park traffic source with actually any traffic platform that you are using. But if you have any additional questions, you know where you can reach to us just below into the comment sections. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.